Body bags were whole lies. Welcome back to Body Bags. This is week number 356. This is Hammer Week. I'll be your host, Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And today I want to take a look at The Brides of Dracula. Now the only way I have it is on this set. Of course, here's the uh, small picture of it down here. This also has Curse of the Werewolf, Night Creatures, a Paranoiac. I believe it has the Evil of Frankenstein as well. And a couple others. Really nice set. Now, The Brides of Dracula is a 1960 film, which runs approximately 85 minutes, and is directed by the late, great Terence Fisher. Now, he, of course, passed on June 18th, 1980, at the age of 76, and he gave us such classics as, of course, The Curse of the Werewolf, which is also on this, The Mummy, which is actually my favorite adaption of The Mummy, the Hammer version, and The Gorgon. Now, this stars one of my favorite actors of all time, Peter Cushing, as Dr. Van Helsing. He passed away on August 11, 1994, at the age of 81. He was in Shockwaves, which I absolutely love, Madhouse, which is my favorite Vincent Price film, and a little film called Star Wars. <laughs> this also stars Yvonne Manure as Marianne. Uh, she passed away on April 18th, 2017, at the age of 81. She was in License to Kill, Circus of Horrors, and Skies Above. And finally, the stars David Peel as Baron Meinster. He passed away on September 4th, 1981, at the age of 61. He was in Escape to Danger, we Are at Dawn, and A Bunch of TV. Now, a couple interesting things about this movie. In 1960, this actually grossed $337,833. And in 2004, Universal made new prints and restored a brief scene of gore in the film. And that was the staking of the Baroness Meinster. And this version was released in 2007 on DVD. So this is intact, um, the actual print of this film. Now, of course, this is the one Dracula film from Hammer that didn't have Christopher Lee in it. Which, to be honest, I'm kind of okay with, because I love Christopher Lee. He's awesome. Uh, rest in peace, Christopher Lee. He is absolutely awesome. I love him as Dracula. He's really good. But I kind of saw what they were going for in this film. They wanted a younger more, I guess, debonair kind of Dracula in this one. Now this is about a school teacher named Marianne who gets a job at a woman's boarding school. Now she is traveling, of course, and she has to stop at this town where she's confronted by uh, the Baroness Meisner. And she's offered to put her up at her castle until she can get to her actual place. Because the inn that she's in apparently doesn't have any rooms. So she goes to the castle and she realizes that the Baroness Meisner is not alone. She has a son, the Baron Meisner. And he, of course, is Dracula in this, although he's not called Dracula in this film. He's called uh, Baron Meisner. So he, the only, what, the only way I can really explain this is he kind of hypnotizes her into releasing him because he is actually chained in his room by his mother. Of course, he goes on a rampage and um, turns his mother into the undead, but his ultimate goal is to turn Marianne into one of the undead. She eventually does make it to the school where she where she is pursued by, of course, Baron Meisner. Uh, this is a real... I'm going to leave it there. I'm sure most people have seen this by now, but in case you haven't, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, this is a really, really good Dracula film. One of my, one of my personal favorites. 
even though, like I said, Christopher Lee is not in the film. Um, this is a definite recommendation. I don't hear people talk about this one enough. So this is a very, very high recommendation for me. Everybody knows of a horror of Dracula, the satanic rites of Dracula, um, Dracula this, Dracula that, you know, so on and so forth. But I don't really hear many people talk about this one. And it's a shame because it's a fantastic film. I think it gets discarded sometimes because it didn't have Christopher Lee in it. And like I said, Christopher Lee is awesome, but I understand what they were going for in this film. So, but definitely check this one out. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button once again. And until next time, peace.